you're looking at Acts 21. Paul is on his third missionary journey. He has sailed from Miletus and greeted the elders and wept and knelt down and got on his ship and he sails here to Kos. This is the harbor uh, Agora, the Roman forum or marketplace that's right on the harbor of Kos. So Paul, after a day of sailing, would have landed here as he had to do on every one of his journeys. And in the harbor town, remember he wasn't imprisoned and he had Luke with him. So he was uh, looking for a place to stay, finding uh, the public restrooms, taking a bath, uh, finding a place to eat and walking by, <laughs> well, this is the temple of Hercules right here in front of us, walking by all the paganism of Rome and how his heart ached for him to, everywhere he went, share the good news of Jesus Christ. And so Paul uh, just did what he was called to do wherever he was and all over the world that he sailed, the Roman world, he sowed the seeds of the gospel. Just a plain little stop on a port on his journey uh, back to Jerusalem for the Passover. But Paul did what Christ called all of us to do. Now Paul was called to be uh, this unbelievable apostle, but we're called to go into all the world and share the gospel. I wonder if you're prayerfully uh, having that track in your pocket or in your wallet or purse and you're saying, Lord, who can I give that to? Who can I share the good news with? Are you praying that you share the gospel? Are you living the gospel of Christ? Are you being a good and faithful servant? Paul was such an example right here in Kos, right here in Acts 21, right here at the end of the third missionary journey. What a blessing to be challenged by Paul.